guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, Friday morning here at Single Tree Dairies. I've milked this morning uh, from 4am until 7 with Jason. So we did the first shift. Uh, Will and Maddie are just finishing up the second shift. So they'll go from 7 o'clock through until about 9 o'clock. So we're putting through about 2,400 cows uh, in just under 5 hours including the wash. So I'm here with, uh, with Chester. So Chester was the early starter this morning. Chester, what time did you start? Uh, I got in the paddock just before 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning. So uh, so Chester has been, how long have you been at Single Tree now? Uh, coming two years now doing two, this job. Two years at Single Tree? Yeah. Yes. Yep. So Chester gets the cows in for us and um, does quite a bit of tractor work as well. So he's um, yeah he, he's got herds one, two, three, and four in, um, and he'll he'll help do the wash, and then you'll you'll head home for lunch. Yeah, yeah, basically like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Knock off early every day. Knock so off early every good. day. Yeah, pretty good lifestyle, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So he's uh, he's just bringing in the reds now. So we've got a few, uh, not too many reds at the moment. Um, I'm just out doing the rounds again. Uh, we're out with our first herd just over here, so same as last week, just under 700 cows in here, all two year olds, two and a half year olds, um, every single heifer in here should be pregnant, so they're looking pretty good at the moment, plenty of grass here, looking nice and happy. So I'm here with Denny. Hello, hi, good morning. So hello Denny. So Denny, how long have you been at Single Tree? Uh, this is my uh, eight years now. Eight years at Single Tree. Eight years, yeah, so you're the veteran. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So what what's the plan for you today? Uh supposedly I'm on second gym milking, but uh will uh swap with me so he could uh, pick some uh, calves. So you got a bit of a sleep on this morning? Yeah. That's good? Yeah. yeah. And then I already shipped the sprinklers or uh, heard one block and then I'm going to swap with Will now uh, because uh, they're almost done with the port herd and then once a day and then I will do the reds and then the butt wash. Cool. Butt wash. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so Danny's just going to finish up milking yeah. and then, um, yeah, so it's busy, busy here today. What are you doing here, Jason? Eight, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, putting color on the dry cows. Just finishing putting these collars on our dry cows. So we've got a mob of about how many dry cows we've got, Jason? About 50? Uh, 50. Approximately 50. Yeah, so these are some spare all flex collars that we've had. So we're putting them on our pregnant dry cows so we can monitor them from now on. Um, it's basically like having a an Apple Watch Fitbit on the cow, so it tells us 
what their rumination is like, if, they, if they're coming on heat, if they've lost a calf, or that sort of technical data. So it sends all the data back to the main cow shed, and then we can, um, we can pick it up from there on the, on the computer, and also access the information on our phones, on the phone app. So yeah, really, really cool thing to new technology to have on the dairy farm. Everybody meet Harry. G'day, how are you? So Harry's part of our single tree team. So Harry, how long have you been here? Uh, 12 months. 12 months? Yep, so this will be your second, second season? First full season, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I um, did a couple of months, so uh, in the last few season, yeah, this is my first full one. Cool, so hey guys, we're just in uh, the shed office here. Uh, just having a look at our Sense Hub data. So basically, uh, the cow collars that we've got here, all flex cow collars so every single cow on farm has one of these um, so Harry's just in here checking where things are at for today so Harry do you want to explain what you're what you're up to um, so the health reports just pulled up four cows that we need to inspect so um, they pull up with a health index and they, they, uh, they scored there based on their rumination data so these are cows that we have the option to, to draft out if need be so we just come in here and so we're just basically having a look at how many minutes um, how many minutes I've been ruminating in the last couple of days um, so we'll get send an alert on our phones as well so we had a cow cow 603 that had a distress alert um, so we've been able to identify her and treat her accordingly so Harry's just having a look at this cow 1740 here um, so if we look at the data here she's had a bit of a Bit of a drop in rumination the last couple of days, but she's come back up well over five, six hundred minutes, so she's uh, absolutely fine. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool technology out here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> So just about to finish up for the day, uh, just been out checking all the rotors, making sure they're all good for going overnight. Um, called into the wool shed here. Um, Harry's been cleaning this, water blasting the floor today. Uh, we've been cleaning this out over the last couple of days because the plan is to turn this wool shed into a farm fit gym, which is quite exciting. Um, what we're gonna do is Meet here as a team every Tuesday, four o'clock, uh, and do a bit of a, a gym circuit, getting fit and strong, um, ready for springtime, pretty much. So um, it's a little bit quieter on the farm this time of the year, so it gives us an opportunity to uh, finish a bit earlier in the afternoons, uh, particularly when we're milking only once a day. Uh, so we'll come here and, and do a good gym session, and. Uh, build a bit of muscle over the next couple of months. Hey guys, uh, hope you like these videos. 
Remember to subscribe to this channel, Single Trees. See you next week.